I made this video to show honor and respect to Mr. Joe Jellybean Bryant, Miss Pamela Bryant, his mother, his two sisters, Cherie and Shay, his nieces and nephews, his uncles, aunties, and all his blood relatives. On yesterday, they had a ceremony honoring Kobe Bryant. The only person who made reference to Kobe's parents, in essence, were, were Shaq when he said he was a son and he was a brother. And I admire Shaq for that. I do not understand how they could have had a memorial service and not honor or say, make mention to the Bryant family. And I'm speaking about his parents because without his parents, there would have not been a Kobe Bryant. Pamela Bryant carried Kobe Bryant inside her womb for nine months. She loved and she nourished that child before he was even born. And for him to be the man that he were on his passing, his father and his mother had to instill great values, values into him. He did not get that from his wife. He did not get that from his friends. That was instilled in him growing up. I saw an interview with Kobe where Kobe said his father was his coach, that at two years old, he was playing basketball. He had the love for the game. His father was a basketball player. Where do you think he got it from? And for them to have had a service and not show any kind of respect to the parents of Kobe Bryant was totally disrespectful for the, for, to them. And disrespectful to his sisters and all of his family, his blood family. The Bryant parents, Kobe parents, will never, ever get their son back. Even if they could have another child, it could not replace Kobe. Because no child can replace another child. And who should understand that better is Vanessa Bryant. She lost her beautiful Gigi. And I know she understands that heartache. My heart goes out to you, Vanessa. I grieve with you. The loss of a child is terrible. Therefore, you should understand how your mother-in-law feel. Because she lost her son, her one and only son. And she will never ever get him back and I did not say that disrespectfully what I think was, was was disrespectful was everyone who got up there and spoke and did not acknowledge the parents I think that one of the sisters or if both of the sisters wanted to speak on their brother who greater knew him than their brother. I did not expect their parents to try to get up there and speak because they're devastated, unbelievably devastated. And I know that they're grieving. I know that they're grieving hard. I've heard a lot of rumors. I don't care about rumors. I don't care about rips. There is no greater love than a love that a mother has for her child and a, fa and a father have for their son. Sibling love. There is no greater love than that. They cannot get back their son. The sisters cannot get back their brothers. However, Vanessa can remarry and get another husband. There are some loves that is undying. And a parent love, sibling love, grandparent love is undying. And I don't know why people who put the memorial together did not have the decency to show some type of respect for Mr. Joe Bryant and Miss Pamela Bryant and his sisters. 
it's just unforgivable. Unforgivable. Kobe could not have played for the Lakers and made the Lakers a name. He could not be the great man that everyone whom got up there and spoke about if it but for his parents. The manager who spoke, Joe Biden, Joe Bias, I believe that's his name. He said he loved his wife. He loved his children. He loved his friends. However, he loved his parents. He loved his sisters. He loved his nieces, nephews. He loved all of his family. To be the man that you say that he were, he had to. He had to. No way can you love this a, a group of people and not love the ones that brought you into this world. I don't think Kobe would have liked that. I don't think it. Look at the pictures. Look at the laughter. Look at the hugs. They're not little pats on the back. They're intense love. Look at the picture of him kissing his mother in the mouth do you think that he do not love his mother look at the hug that he hugs his his father that's passion that's love his father with his arms wrapped around his son and his son with his arms wrapped around his father's neck how how can you not see the love and the passion there? How can you not say something? If not at the end of the day, at the program, we would, the Lakers, somebody from the Lakers could, should have stood up and said, but for Joe Jellybean Bryant and Miss Pamela Bryant, the parents of Kobe Bryant, we would not have had Kobe. He would not have taken the Lakers to the greatness that he took them through to for the 20 years he played for the Lakers. To the Lakers, is that the kind of gratitude that you show to the parents of Someone, if it is, shame on you. I cannot believe. It's just so unbelievable that no one acknowledged these people. When it was their son, it was their son. It was hit their blood that was running through Kobe Bryant veins Kobe would if but for them he wouldn't have had those four beautiful daughters Vanessa wouldn't have had that great husband you guys wouldn't have had that great friend and none of you if you was truly his friends and if you truly loved him you would made mention to his parents and that my story and I am sticking to it and that's all it is to it the great love and compassion that the manager said in his in his text message which he was conversating with Kobe Bryant just before his demise that Kobe was trying to help someone where do you think he got that from? He got that from his parents. He didn't get it from you. He didn't get it from Vanessa. He didn't get it from the Lakers. He didn't get it from uh, Michael Jordan. He didn't get it from Shaq. He didn't get it from anyone. He got that from his parents. And for no one to acknowledge them was simply disrespectful and disgraceful. I saw the pain in their hearts. I saw the pain in their eyes. It showed. No one come up to hug them. No one. You should be ashamed of yourself for treating them that way. Shame. And 
I would never do my friend parents like that. I don't care because I stay out of people's business. It's not about it's about it's not about them. It's about my friend. And I'm going to do what's best for my friend because they brought him in the world. I'm going to acknowledge I'm going to acknowledge them because that was their mother and their father. That's what true friend does. I know no one is going to pay me any attention because, look, I'm just a low life on uh, YouTube. That's how y'all feel, but that's not how I feel. But, however, I'm going to speak my mind on this. It's a disgrace. It's disrespectful for their names simply not to be mentioned. How can you do that? How could you do that? Kobe would not agree with that. And that's my story again, and I'm sticking with it. To the Bryants, my deepest condolences to you. May God, may God stand with you and help you through your grief. Just call on him because he will. And I want you to know that there are people like me who respect you, love you, and we're praying for you. And we're praying that you make it through this grief. And you will. Much love to the entire Kobe Bryant family. My deepest condolences are R.I.P. Kobe and Guyana. Kobe and Guyana. R.I.P.